Hi and hello, and welcome to another installment of Mad Jackal Labs. I'm your host, teacher, and guide, Dr. Johnny Hellfire, and today we're going to do something a little different. What I'm going to do is show you how to take this and put it in this and give it some battery power so it's more portable. This right here is a previous project, my portable router from a Raspberry Pi, and we're going to make it truly portable now. What we need to do first is modify a few things, and also maybe I can explain a few things. This right here is a circuit that I built previously on a project long, long ago. And maybe we'll retouch that some other time. But essentially, it just consists of three parts. Well, four, technically, if you count this. So you have the charger, you have the basic part, the hookup to this, the power thing, and so on and so forth. I will have uh, the names and list and all that good stuff down below. I just currently do not remember every little detail right off the bat. But, what we need to do first, before anything, is we need to modify this board. This board right here is a little... Well, in case you haven't noticed, it pokes out the side. So, we need to remove both the headphone jack and the RCA jack. This will be, as you can see, a Raspberry Pi B. So. Anyways, we take these off with a little bit of solder and all that good stuff, and yes. So, let me do that real fast, and then I shall return. I'm realizing maybe I should have turned on the soldering iron a few minutes ago. Well, jump cut. Oh yes, excitement, action, adventure, soldering. Ooh, don't you love it? And it's modified many, many, many hours later. I need to get a new soldering iron. So what I did was I took out the RCA, the audio, so that way it could fit in here a little better. I mounted the Power Boost 500 in here with double-sided tape. I kind of wish I would have cut this out beforehand, but I can run this headless, so that's okay. And then basically, we have this down here with the double-sided tape around there. Now, what I'm doing currently is I'm modifying it, drilling out some holes for the actual power plug part. Ah, where are you? There we go. And uh, there we go. And that should be going right in there where that next white block is. We're going to pop it in there, it will be there, and then the next part will be a place for the power switch to actually protrude from. So, another jump cut later, and there we go. It was a long, arduous project, but I didn't feel like filming every bit of it. I'm just going to show you the end result. When you open it up, you have the battery, you have the power boost and the charger and the connector is right there. Let's see if we can get this yeah, right there. Just oh, oh focus, focus. The focus here. And you plug it in there. There's the power cord. Just closes up. I'll have to think hey, I'll probably just use tape for the time being, but uh, you have your Wi-Fi adapter here and you can even plug in your thing there. Uh, landline. Yes. Yes. It's late again. I do this late. I forgot to cut a hole for the HDMI so I'll have to run this headless but otherwise this is good to go and all you have to do is flip the switch. Boom. And it's up. And you just log on, you can set it down like so, and you can pop it up like that if you need to set it down, or if you have it in your bag, you can do it like that. But, yes, there it is, the conclusion to our portable router situation, and I hope you enjoy. Now remember, you don't have to use the same kind of box, you can use any kind of box, it's just pretty much, you know, yeah. 
and I'll even give you a wiring diagram for these components down here and even a link to where I found the idea in the first place down below but yes remember everyone this was just an experiment Hooah! like subscribe thank you